Hey everyone, today's video is about when Bakugo slaps you in front of Kirishima. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. The sun was setting, casting a warm golden glow over the city as you, Bakugo, and Kirishima walked down the bustling streets. The three of you had been together for over a year now, your bond growing stronger with each passing day. Tonight, you were celebrating a recent victory against a group of villains, and the atmosphere was light and cheerful. As you walked, Bakugo's hand was wrapped possessively around your waist, while Kirishima held your other hand. He stomped gently stroking your knuckles. The two of them had always been protective of you, and tonight was no different. You smiled up at Bakugo, his fierce expression softening slightly as he met your gaze. You know, you could try smiling once in a while. You teased him. Shut up. Baku grumbled, but there was no heat in his words. I smile when there's something worth smiling for. Like explosions? Kirishima chimed in, grinning wildly. Baku snorted, shaking his head. Yeah, something like that. The three of you continued walking eventually making your way to a small, cozy cafe that had been a favorite spot for the three of you. As you entered, the familiar scent of freshly brewed coffee and pastries greeted you, and you couldn't help but feel at home. You found a table near the window, and Baku pulled out a chair for you before sitting down himself. Kirishima took the seat next to you, his arm draping casually over the back of your chair. So, what are we celebrating tonight? You asked, looking between your two lovers. Our badass victory, of course. Kirishima exclaimed, his eyes shining with excitement. We took down those villains like it was nothing. Yeah, but we still have a lot of work to do. Baku interjected, his tone serious. We can't just let our guard down. You nodded, understanding the weight of his words. You're right, but we should still take a moment to appreciate our achievements. Agreed, Kirishima said, raising his glass in a toast. To us. To us. You and Bakugo echoed, clinking your glasses together. The evening went on, filled with laughter and light-hearted banter, but as the night wore on, he noticed a shift in Bakugo's demeanor. He seemed tense his eyes flickering with an intensity that made you uneasy. Hey, are you okay? You asked him, placing a hand on his arm. Bakugo's jaw clenched, and he looked away. I'm fine. You exchanged a weary glance with Kirishima, who squeezed your hand reassuringly. Maybe we should just call it a night. Kirishima suggested gently. No, Bakugo said his gaze snapping back to you. We're not done yet. You frowned, feeling a knot of anxiety form in your stomach. Bakugo, just please tell us what's wrong. I don't get why you keep acting like this. Before you could react, Bakugo's hand shot out, striking you across the face with a resounding slap. The impact left you stunned, your cheeks stinging from the blow. Kirishin was on his feet in an instant, his eyes wide with shock and anger. What the hell, Bakugo? Bakugo's eyes were filled with a mix of anger and regret, his chest heaving with heavy breath. I, I didn't mean to. Tears welled up in your eyes, and you touched your cheek gingerly, feeling the heat radiating from the spot where he had hit you. Why? You whispered, your voice trembling. Kirishima said between you, and Bakugo, his expression, fierce. You don't ever touch them like that. Got it? Bakugo's shoulder slumped, and he looked down at the floor, shame evident in his posture. I know. I'm sorry. The tension in the air was palpable, and he felt a mix of emotions swirling inside you. Hurt, anger, confusion. You took a deep breath, trying to steady yourself. Bakugo, we need to talk about this. Now. Kirishima placed a comforting hand on your shoulder, his voice softening. 
Let's go somewhere more private. The three of you love the coffee. The once warm, an inviting atmosphere, now feeling cold and distant. You walked in silence, the weight of the situation heavy on your hearts. Eventually, you found a quiet park, the moonlight casting a soft glow over the trees and the grass. You sat down on a bench, Kirishima sitting beside you, while Bakugo stood a few feet away. His hands clenched into fists at his sides. Bakugo. You began, your voice steady, despite the turmoil that was inside you. Why did you do that? I didn't do anything to you. I was just worried. Bakugo's eyes met yours, and you could see the regret and pain in them. I don't know. I just got so angry, and I didn't know how to control it. Because you kept asking. Kirishima's voice was firm, but gentle. You can't let your anger get the best of you, especially not when it comes to us. I know, Bakugo said quietly, his gaze dropping to the ground. I'm sorry, I never wanted to hurt you. He reached out, taking Bakugo's hand in yours. We love you, Bakugo, but you need to learn how to control your anger. We can't be in a relationship where we fear you might hurt us. Bakugo's grip tightened on your hand, and he looked up, his eyes filled with determination. I promise I'll do better. I'll find a better way to control it. Kirishima placed a hand on Bakugo's shoulder, his expression earnest. We're here for you, Bakugo. We'll help you through this. Bakugo nodded, a small, grateful smile, tugging at the corners of his lips. Thank you. He leaned into Kirishima, feeling his warmth and strength, while Bakugo sat down on your other side, his presence a comforting weight. The three of you sat in silence for a while, the night's events still lingering in your minds. Finally, you spoke, your voice soft but resolute. We'll get through this, together. Bakugo and Kirishima nodded, their hands intertwined with yours. The road ahead might be challenging, but you knew that as long as you had each other, you could face anything that comes your way, no matter how strong it was. And the three of you stayed at the park for a while longer, the quiet allowing the tension to dissipate slowly. Kirishima leaned his head against yours, his warmth a comforting presence. Bakugo, still holding your hand, seemed lost in thought. The walk back to your shared apartment was silent but not uncomfortable. The familiarity of being with the two people you loved brought you some solace, even in the midst of your confusion and hurt. Once inside, he settled into the living room, the cozy space a stark contrast to the night's earlier turmoil. And then, as the night wore on, the three of you talked, laughed, and shared your dreams for the future. The love you had for each other was another beacon of hope, guiding you through the challenges you faced. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye.